Hey everyone, Sophia here from mygreatchallenge.blogspot.com Today I'm doing the basement and I was thinking, well, I need to do a cleaning videos, but what's the point of cleaning when I still haven't decluttered and taken care of all my books? So today I'm doing a little bit of both. I'm going to finally tackle all of my books. I bought new bookcases to finish the whole library here in the basement and then I'll clean it and the basement will be done. I will be done with it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in a second. So of course the basement got all cluttered again. Uh, this is what you see when you come down. These are the books that were in my bedroom that I had the kids bring downstairs. So there's some here on my antique chair. There's a bunch of stuff here on my antique dresser that need to be um, removed and reorganized. More books over there. These are the two bookshelves that I bought at Target. They're the same ones that I had before. When you come in, I still have the bookcase that I put together the last time I did a video. All of those links are down below if you want to see how I put my basement together. And here's the basement. Nothing much has changed. I mean, it's a little clutter. I got some laundry here, books over here. And then, you know, this is pretty much the same that it was the last time. And again, all those videos are down below in my small project collection. But here are the books that I have been basically um, haphazardly putting on thick shelves I guess because it's just stacks of books with a shelf resting on them and then another stack of books all of those books I was going to put a bookcase here I can't find one that takes the whole wall from here to here I could build it I don't have the time and quite frankly a $30 shelf is going to be more cost effective for me if I put it over there than um, trying to build something and buy the wood so I have more books here so today what I'm going to do is this corner right here that's my organization project for the day. I'm going to part with this desk. This is a desk that I've had for at least four or five years. I think I did a video on it when or a blog at least on how I painted it and mod podged the top. This was going to be for a temporary office but now that I have a full functional office upstairs I really don't need this and it kind of ends up being cluttered all the time because we fold the laundry here and instead of putting the laundry in the baskets and then bringing the laundry upstairs we end up using the flat surface here to put the laundry and then it ends up being here for weeks i kid you not weeks before it actually either goes back upstairs or is needed so i figured if i get rid of the flat surface then we have no other option but to bring the laundry upstairs so that's my plan for the day uh, i'm sticking with it the desk has got to go i got to build two bookshelves first things first i got to declutter everything i'm going to enroll the kids to bring all the clothes that are folded upstairs they know where to go so they're going to file them themselves and while they do that i'm going to start building my bookcases i'm probably going to see you in a minute when the space here is empty and i have the bookcases ready to go I've just reclaimed my space so now this I had built myself I don't know if you can remember but I closed off the entire uh, wall here uh, going to the kitchen and uh, I don't know if I have a video on that I think I did if I did it's down below um so now I've dusted everything and one of the reasons really why the idea of having the desk here didn't really work out for me is because all of the dust and uh, what is that? You're gonna eat a chili pepper? No, I'm gonna ask you come to on. try it. No, no I'm not trying it. Come here, come here. Come here. Here's the challenge. Oh my god, it's covered in dirt. I'm gonna bite the side that doesn't have the most dirt on it, like that area. Alright. 
here's the chili pepper challenge by Edward. Ah! <laughs> You're <laughs> insane. I go drink some milk. See you later. Oh, I, I think I swallowed a minute. Uh, bye. <laughs> <gasps> It burns! Yeah, I know it burns. It's your fault, I told you. Alright, so one of the issues that we had is that a lot of the uh, dog hair and dirt and dust and cobwebs, let's be honest, it's a basement, so there's cobwebs too, um, end up being lodged all over here underneath the desk and it was just so difficult to clean. So now I'm going to close up this whole space by having bookcases. I have to worry about it. Now the bookcases, they stop right here. They are the perfect height, uh, which I believe is 72 inches and they're not going to be any more than here, maybe an inch over here. So it's really going to free up most of the space that's here and it's going to look better when you walk in. You're going to have bookcase here and then there's my some of my college books here because the other side is full of college books as well and books here as well and then I have the little one over there if you remember when I put that together and this one here I've decided not to put any on this side I want a piece of artwork here and maybe a light um, and then this big chair here is going to be moved more towards the corner so that's going to free up some of the space here as well all right so let me just go ahead i'm not going to film myself building the bookcases because you've seen me do that before so for the interest of keeping the video short i'm just going to open those build them and then i'll show them to you once they're installed right here in this corner well it took a while but i finally have my two bookcases right there in the corner it looks much better um, they are crappy bookcases. We've discussed that. Come downstairs, please. We've discussed that and look at this. They're not fitting under like they were supposed to because it's fitting under here, but not... Hey, hey you're gonna help me uh, what am I over gonna there. Help you with? So hold on. So I had to push them to the side here, which is problematic because that means that I got this space right here that's empty and all it's gonna do is collect dust. I know that. So I have to figure out a way to kind of cover this area right here because otherwise it's going to be little cobwebs and dog hair and it's a difficult area to clean so we'll see but right now I'm going to get the kids to pass the books along and I'm just going to fill these two bookcases up with all the books that I have left over. So this is done. I managed to fit every single one of the books except three. Three that I'm willing to part with. Now a lot of you have commented that I have a lot of books. Um, yeah we do. But we actually did get rid of a lot of them. I did a massive book purge. Um, I can't remember two years ago I think and then before we even moved to this house. So. Um, I am clean. This is going to be part two for cleaning because uh, right now it's 7.30 in the evening. So basically this is going to be part one. Part two, I'll do the cleaning. So part one is the bookcases and here they are. It is full. I think I have room for maybe two books. That's it. But that's basically what it looks like. Let me pull out to the other side of the basement so you can see. Don't mind the mess. It's still not done here. Right? So that's what it looks like. It's, um, it's a better looking... Um, corner I think I mean I'm only saying this because I love books <laughs> um, yeah I like it much better it takes less room obviously so I have all of this space right here and we're not gonna put anything on top of there so now all of the finance books that were in that pile the window corner I've moved here so I have uh, pretty much everything that's finance and starting your own business here I had to remove the three boxes so they have to be put somewhere else and I'm not getting rid of those, those are antiques. Um, the chair is here, I did add a frame there but it's got to have something else in it. I got to remove all the toys and stuff and you know all of this here needs to be cleaned tomorrow. I have to remove those two boxes tomorrow, got to do the top here and that's about it. Um, yeah and then all of this here 
needs to be decluttered. Now, eventually I'll put it, I said I was gonna put a curtain here. I haven't done it yet, so. And another one right here. So it's taking me forever, you guys, to get my house in order. If you've been watching my channel uh, since the beginning, you know I've been working for almost two and a half, coming to three years now, trying to put my house into some kind of organized order. Um, it's taking forever between the painting, the building of stuff, and moving things here to there. It's a very, very long, very, very slow process, but I'm hoping for those of you who've been watching me since day one that you can see the progress that is being made constantly in this house because I just don't stop. I'm always engaged into some kind of project to make things easier, more functional, and it is my great challenge. That's why I created this channel. So that is it for today. Um, all I did was build bookcase and put the books together, and they are, they are by the way in order here are books that I'm yet to read the rest of them are on the ledge in the staircase I'll show it to you in another time uh, over here is everything that has to do with building a website and filmmaking and writing these are all novels here as well some of them we've read some of them we haven't read this is all kind of like social studies book you know like the origin of uh, species things like this these are self-help book there's not a lot of them um, but they're there. This is the leftover of all of my school books that I could not fit in this bookcase here and the one that's behind right there. So that's the leftover. They're all in there. Here is a little bit of a mismatch, but it's um, still organized. I have uh, tourism guides here and then these are organizing and speed cleaning books as though I was reading them. Uh, here I got all of the Templars books, all of the Douglas Adams, a little bit of mismatch here. These are mostly Scott stuff and this is all about the art of um, Star Trek, Star Wars, what else do I have? Animation and we have um, Batman, stuff like that. These are, uh, what do we have? We have sewing and we have uh, slip covers, household feng shui stuff. And then these are all how to draw books. So this all art stuff. These are catalogs that I've kept. I probably did not a video, but a um, blog about this, about how I keep specific articles from magazines um, that I really like. So that's in there. And then there's more art books right here. And that's about it. So yeah, it is somewhat organized by categories. Um, it definitely is more organized in those shelves and this one is definitely organized because it's just either social studies or business and finances and the rest is encyclopedia and same thing over there this is all NLP philosophers and raising children at the bottom don't mind the dust bunnies they will be gone tomorrow okay so that was it for part one um, I don't know how long that video, that's the blue from Tio TV. I don't know how long that video is going to be. Uh, probably very short, but tomorrow I'll do the whole cleaning. Right now I gotta go upstairs, wash my hands, and um, get something to drink that's very, very cold and refreshing. And then I have to make dinner. So I'll finish this tomorrow and I will see you later. Thanks for watching, you guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!